halfway across Australia. I've never stayed in anything like this before. <laughs> I just sampled this. <laughs> Mint, she's trying to kill me. I think we might have to say it is lost forever. How cool can a rock pool be smaller than a bathtub? We're stuck. We're bogged. Morning guys from our free roadside camp on the Barrier Highway. Yesterday we crossed over from New South Wales into South Australia through Broken Hill. New South Wales, New South Wales, South Australia. And we're currently about two hours west of the border. We need to find ourselves some shade, brew up a coffee, get some brekkie in it. Sampler for the chef. So that we can get through the quarantine checkpoint this morning. Let's get into it. first time through this quarantine checkpoint but Shannon did jump online and checked out the do's and don'ts so we should be fine. Looks like a full on check station eh? Very similar to Western Australia. Hello. Good, Good yourself? Thanks. Great, where you guys from? Um, New, New South, South Wales. Wales. Yep, we'll open up both sides for you. Expecting him to be an arrogant A. Yeah. We remembered just as we started to pull up that we forgot to deal with our dates. Oh yeah. And I thought, oh, <laughs> we go. And I got that instant like sick feeling in my stomach that I'm like, but there's quarantine bins. Like it there's signs saying you can throw out your produce in the quarantine bins. I think the thing is, if you're upfront and honest and just tell them, I have this, I forgot, they're completely fine. And just make sure you download the form because as soon as we said we've downloaded it, He was like, oh yeah, form, like he just basically went, yep, 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 you're good. Yeah. So, so that was good. Went through the checkpoint. Morning, guys. Morning. We're at Peter Bra caravan park we've been here for three nights yeah when we came into peterborough we drove past and it was super quiet so quiet. it was clean and i was so hot they had, a, they pool. had a pool <laughs> so i said to Nate, let's stop in because we had a few nights to kill while we waited for some parcels to arrive to a port augusta but they've come in now guys yes so, so we can hit the road again the heading to tala, tala to explore the caves and the rock pools yeah. and i can't wait to hit the ocean oh, i can't either Before we left on the trip, I had the sub tank reconditioned and I put a new transfer pump in and I haven't tested it yet. So I think we should give it a test, give it a run before we hit the Nullarbor if we actually need it. All lights on. Now it's just a waiting game to see if it transfers, so we'll see how we go. have four things to do before we can leave and get back on the road. Fill the car up with fuel. Done, and my sub tank's working perfectly. Get some groceries. Done. Get some change from a bank. <laughs> Done. And pick up our parcels. Done. to halfway across Australia. Yeah boy, we're at Kimba. So guys, Kimba is famous for a few things. It is halfway across Australia. There is a giant galah here somewhere. There she is, I see the giant galah. And silo art.
This is seriously impressive. It's amazing how people do this. They're just so talented. Eh? Yeah, they really are. This is one of the best ones I think I've actually ever seen. That was completed in 2016, it took 26 days and 200 litres of paint. I'm pretty impressed with how much paint that is because I would have thought it'd be heaps more to paint something that big. I need a book camp for tonight. Done. We've got a place to call home. Welcome to our swag hut. I booked us a winner. Oh yeah, it's definitely something different. I've never stayed in anything like this before. So it's a campground with showers, composting toilet, camp kitchen, these cool swag huts. Direct access to the beach. So we can explore Tala Caves tomorrow with you guys, the rock pools, the monuments, whatever there is and to the see. the best bit, guys, is we're the only ones camping Yeah, in we just this spoke to the owners. Higher campground tonight, and it's absolutely huge. We've got the whole thing to ourselves. Oh, you guys are going to have to put this on the bucket list, I reckon. This is awesome. There should be more joints like this around Australia. This is so sick. cool. It's quirky and it's so cool under this shade. You step yep. a little bit into the sun and it's Ooh. roasting. You jump under here. It's beautiful. I reckon nice I'm going to have a great sleep tonight. Yeah, and it's going to be interesting putting the swag up here, eh? I can't wait. Hopefully she fits, mate. Is it long enough? In length. The swag's 2100. Like, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go, just. All right. This will be different. I love, love it. it. So guys, I was just thinking about getting the swag ready to cool it down for the night. And I thought to myself, do I build it or do I assemble it? What do you call it? Erect it? Do I erect it on the floor and lift it into the swag hut? Or do you try and assemble it, erect it, sorry, in the swag hut? decided to go with I'm gonna erect it on the ground and try and lift it inside the swag hut. Is it in? Yeah we're just on. Take it for a test run. In safely? How is it? Take really them. comfortable. What does it feel like? It feels like a swag. <laughs> Can you feel the slats? No, oh, not at all. March fly biting me. Okay, let me see how it is getting out. You'll have to be careful of head height and then getting down. I guess this is more so for the nimble. I'm guessing that they've gone with these little huts off the ground because the ground is all like undulated and rocky and really dusty. I like it. I reckon too that they've done it because it is so hot here that it allows oh, airflow. Ooh. It allows airflow to get underneath the swag and just kind of make everything cooler. Oh, like a Queenslander. Oh, it's a Queenslander swag. It's a Queenslander swag. <laughs> Homemade taco seasoning. Heaps cheaper than store-bought and without any nasties. Cooking up some taco mince for the next couple of lunches, which we'll put on wraps with some salad. You can go as heavy as your husband will allow you. Shannon's a little bit of a soft touch when it comes to chili. Oh my God. <laughs> I just sampled this mince. She's trying to kill me. My esophagus is on fire. Maybe don't make your own bloody mixes. It's about how much I put in there, not about the mix. It's just I put a little bit too much in for you. But remember, it's going to be on wraps with avocado and tomato and cucumber and cabbage. I won't be able to taste any of that. <laughs> well, you just put a little bit of mince on yours then. You'll be right, mate. Whoa. <laughs> Can anyone else look? <sighs> Did you see the flames? 
That is ridiculous, mate. <laughs> Sorry, babe. Normally I get Shen to test it and then see if I can put more in. And this time I just put more in. And then I tested it and went, oops. Absolute worst case scenario, Shannon has vegan wraps and I enjoy this lovely, delicious mince. <laughs> I'm not happy about that. Way too hot. We're having pork tonight with mashed potato, which is going to soothe Shannon's esophagus and a little bit of veg. Guys, let's go for a walk and check this place out, eh? For the camping, it looks like it's mainly set up for like little groups. It does. Which is great for if you're in little groups. Yep, so there's the swag huts, there's like two or three like close together. We've only found the one site so far, 22, 22. which is where we're at, which has got one swag hut, which is all by itself. So uh, keep that in mind if you're coming. Looks like here they've got like some shade cabanas, like a communal area with a communal fire pit. I'm gonna go test out this Thunderbox, but hot tip guys, there is no bog roll supplied here, so you get a BYO. But it is actually clearly listed on their hip camp pages, documentation. Oh, look at the size of this thing. Is there a urinal in there? A urinal too. I think it'd have a party in here. Check it's out that. Check out that for a Thunderbox <laughs> and for scale, check out the width of this door. It's yeah. like nearly as big as me with my arms stretched out. Yeah, that's huge. Anyway, I've got to use the can, guys. I can't hold any longer. Come on, where did I put me roll? I'll let you know how I go. So I think it's worth mentioning that half the campground, it looks like, is the swag hut kind of camp style, and the other half is just a standard campground where you could bring your caravan, your tent, anything like camper that. Camper trailer. Camper trailer, all of that sort of gear, and it really caters to everyone. what your height setting is. I'll take screw number two. Oh, there's three different heights. That's cool. Oh, I think you should go screw number three. Test it. Yeah, that's much better for you. Okay. Ready? Oh. Just freezing. Woo! Refreshing. Catch you guys in the morning. I think I'm already asleep. Good night from the shag swag. <laughs> really tired. <laughs> well, guys, we're in our swag under the swag shack, ready for bed. <laughs> <laughs> Nay's really tired, so she's just laughing at anything. <laughs> we'll catch you guys in the morning. Wish me luck. Good night. <laughs> Good morning. We slept really well, but I did make one mistake. Normally, I put my thongs inside the swag or underneath the swag, and last night I went woke up to go to the toilet, and I've only got one thong left. 
Somebody stole my thong in the middle of the night. And it was down on the ground. So we gotta try and find it. Shem, I can't be thongless. Oh, I think it's your thong. Who took it? Well, Who possum. took my thong? A possum. In New South Wales, we normally blame possums. Who do you blame in South Australia? <laughs> It was just middle of the night confusion. <laughs> Is it My there? thong's there. <laughs> oh, you crazy killer. Feels a little dodgy in thongs. I dodgy, eh? Yeah. That better? It's with my aeroplanes, it's good. Hmm. Mm. I'm wondering if I'm better barefoot. I think so too. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> now I've only got one. Thing. <laughs> How's that? Oh, Shan. Okay, just be careful. Yeah, you have to. I don't know if you get down. I think I might have lost my thong forever. Maybe you're better off getting down down there and walking through the water to your thong. Maybe that's better. Woo! I don't want to walk any further. It just feels too um, steep and too dodgy. Just be, just be careful, please. Oh, wow. I almost just lost my balance. Going down to get Shen's thong is gonna be a massive mission. I think we might have to say it is lost forever. This is actually quite high, and then that is all wet rock. So that's gonna be really slippery if you do step down off that high ledge. And then it's such a long way. Oh, he's back, he's safe. I'm gutted about me thong. We've made the decision that our life and our safety is more important than a thong. Yep. A $20, $25 thong or I'm whatever gutted. it was. If I was younger, they were I would, brand new. But if I was younger, I would go for that. But I feel like with my uh, track record of nearly dying and slipping, <laughs> Shannon almost died, guys. He almost drowned. <laughs> Whoa, we got that on camera. I think I'm just gonna let it go. Better a thong than my life or camera gear or something like that. So today as penance, I'm gonna pick up rubbish all day to make up for losing a thong. Well, cause we ultimately just littered. Mm, I'm not happy about it. We don't it. litter. We're not mm. litterers. Not in a beautiful place like this. No. How cool was the cave guys? Cave hopefully cool. I got footage, did good you footage good for you. I'm not an expert at it, but hopefully I did a good job.
So when you come down the bottom of the stairs, if you go left, you go to the cave, and apparently if you go right, you go to the rock pools. We've never been there before, so let's go see if we can find them. Check out, I don't know if you guys can see it. Check out the salt that is dried in this hole. I mean, I can just scoop it out in my hand. That's all salt. Oh, wow. That's crazy. That is cool. Taste test. Really salty. Whoa. <laughs> That's really very salty. You want to try? Whoa. <coughs> <laughs> it hits you straight in the back of the throat. I'm a bit bummed guys. I just put the drone up in the air to find these rock pools. We thought maybe we had found them and I flew it up the coast and back where we've walked and unfortunately we have found them and there's no way I'm getting in there. No, the water's a bit stagnant. It, uh, you must need a good high tide to come up, flush it all out and maybe on the run out it'd be nice and fresh. Yeah, I think it could be really beautiful at the right time. And I think, unfortunately, we just didn't nail the right time. But it does look like a love heart from the yeah, air, which yeah. is pretty cool. Yeah, it does look like a love heart. That is cool. Is that one cleaner? Well, Whoa, deep. that is deep. And that one at the front looks better. Oh, she's fresh. It's still early in the morning, but it's already so hot. We really want to go for a swim. We found a clean one. We think it's maybe just big enough for the both of us. So we're going to go in. Oh, she's fresh, mate. Um, it's legitimately cold. Oh, it's freezing. Woo! But, but I tell of, you what, I'm fresh now. I've been in the longest and it's... Uh, you climatizing? Yeah, it's nice. All right, ready? <laughs> oh, it's so salty! <laughs> oh my goodness, it's salty! Like <laughs> cold! Oh, so oh, refreshing! I feel so good now. I'm not oh, hot at all. That's amazing. Oh, how cool can a rock pool be smaller than a bathtub? just pulled up at the tub which is basically a giant sinkhole which has been carved out from the the waves the force of the waves coming underneath and actually eroding this massive hole back in the cliff line. Now from memory we were actually here about 10 12 years ago and there's a little bit of a tree ladder you can climb down but we don't feel as bold as we used to 10 12 years ago so we're walking down now and gonna see if we can tuck in underneath the cave. <laughs> I think the tree would be a much safer route. That there is our entry point back into the tub and there's no way that that's a goer. Guys, I've decided I'm gonna try and climb down the tree just to give you the perspective from in the tub looking out to the ocean. We'll give it a crack and see how it goes. He's got joggers on now, so I think he'll be fine. Oh, she's dodged, mate. Kind of what we're working with at the moment. We have made it down safely. Oh, there she is, guys. Oh, check this out. Oh, now you just reminded me be careful it's not slippery because it is wet. The, the actual ocean pushes all the way up into here at high tide. So you've got to pick your tides if you're going to be crazy like this. Oh, this is the end of the line for us guys, but that is the ocean just down there. I don't know if you can hear the echo I'm in the cave at the moment. It's pretty cool. That is where we were earlier. 
Yeah, to get back up without killing myself. Looks like we found the beach access. Give it a go, there's no tire tracks, but we'll give it a go. What do you reckon? I reckon I'll have a heap more air out. We're still quite high in the pressures. Okay. Just walking along Shannon's tracks and the further up the tracks I get, the firmer the sand gets. So I'm thinking we go backwards, reverse up his tracks, but then we need to consider where we can turn. It always makes me feel so nervous. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Stop, stop, stop. I could just see the sand going soft. All right, I'm going to jump in. <gasps> Anxiety for no reason. Calm down, Nay. Okay. We're just walking out. So I just dropped the tyres down to 12 psi. I figured why muck around. We came in on 18, went down to 12, and we just came out really easy. So it just goes to show it's all about tyre pressures. But like that is one hell of a soft beach. I'll give you that. So we have two options, we can park up right up here and then walk down or we can go back to the lookout and then walk down. I would probably move towards go to the lookout and then walk down it's a bit easier. because that was where the really nice swimming was. Yeah. Okay, we did all of this for no real result other than more experience and confidence. That's a win, eh? It's the only way to build your confidence and experience is to get bogged in situations like that and have to get yourself out. You just need to remain calm, I think is the key. Right there's where I want to swim. Just in there. Yep, absolutely. Thanks for watching! Bye guys!